airship development continues, despite disasters, and the Hindenburg, Germany's latest and greatest dirigible, rises from Friedrichshafen on her first demonstration flight. It is also an election demonstration, as we shall see, and her elder sister, the Graf Zeppelin, accompanies her. Down below is Nuremberg, distinguishable by its old castle. And presently the passengers may look out on Tannenberg, scene of Hindenburg's great victory over the Russians, where Hindenburg is buried and where the airship must pay respectful tribute. To while away the time, there are meals in the big saloon, a cocktail bar, retreats for a siesta, and even a polling booth at which patriotic Germans may vote for Hitler. Over Berlin, the first landmark which attracts the airfarer's eye is the Olympic Stadium, where this year's honours will be contested. The Brandenburg Gate at the end of Unter den Linden stands out from the air almost as conspicuously as the two airships block the sky from below. Lingering long enough to drop election pamphlets on the big-eyed crowds beneath, the airship sails on to Cologne, where they circle the famous cathedral and hover over the Rhine before returning home to prepare for the Hindenburg's first Atlantic crossing. 